I happen to be playing Oprah right now, please. I love you, my mom. <laughs> My age either, darling. Tell my age either now. No, I won't do that. That was just my own age, and that's a bit too much. Uh, but I, I've been reading. Somebody said that uh, there's a movie coming out, of course, of *Men in the Garden of Evil*, and I hear that Diana Ross wants to play you in the movie. Is that true? Yes, it is true, but I'm sure you've all noticed, honey. Diana Ross finally decided she's a drag queen. <laughs> After all these years. She finally realized the fact that she's a drag queen, honey. Yes, you know, she's, uh, she and RuPaul are doing something together. Uh -oh. And she's going to be in the movie, or well, she wants to play the part of the movie, honey. I think we should hear some applause for Diana Ross for finally becoming a female impersonator. Well, you know, they asked me to play the part, but I, then when I went in for the screening, they said that I looked too young. <laughs> You would have gotten that part if I hadn't told them you were too young. You would have gotten that part, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say this very quickly before we move into our next category, that the things that are going on in my life, like Midnight, for example, uh, I had a chance to write my own book. Uh, it's entitled Hiding My Candy. And... <laughs> What's that mean? It means I went trick-or-treating and I hid my damn candy. <laughs> And if you don't get that, then you better buy my damn book when it comes out. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to tell you that um, for so long, there's been someone that I wanted to thank because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have uh, done anything with my life. This person picked me up when I was in the dumpster and they made me what I am today. Ladies and gentlemen, my book is dedicated to none other than your hostess this evening, Miss Tina DeVore, and I thank you for everything. I just realized there was something that I, I neglected to tell you. Before we do that, I want to do a tribute. And as soon as we finish this tribute, we'll go into our talent competition. And yeah, we get a little break right here for just a minute. And she was not in the dumpster. She was yes, she laying was. against the dumpster. <laughs> with cash. So, you know, that works. We don't care. On a very serious note, Mishan Black. Mishan Black epitomized everything that was good about the art of female impersonation. She was an original a unique, one of a kind. She could draw you into her web of intrigue and hold you captive. And by the time she let you go, you found yourself screaming for more. I can only say uh, from having worked with her that the female impersonation community here in Atlanta will never, simply never be the same. This tribute this evening is for that girl for that black girl. Ladies and gentlemen, for Mishan Black.
break, honey. You gonna take a break and have a cocktail, okay? <laughs>